Righto. So we are going to talk about basically some of the news today, and we're going to end with Andor because uh, we've got differing views on Andor, but that's that's mm. good. That's good. It's gonna it's gonna cause a nice uh, not controversy. That's not the right word, but you know, a <laughs> um, civilized discussion. Well, yeah, we've already got it. We've already got a comment. Look at that. Look. Um, how do lads, Rainbow. Rainbow. How do lads? He sounds an English fella. All right, mate. He's, how do? How do? Nice to see you. Nice, nice for you to join us. Any uh, questions or any comments you got? Like, join in the chat, please. Feel free. Okie doke. Nice so, avatar first of all, as well. Speaking of avatar, oh, nice. What a what a seamless um, segue. Cameron could stop at Avatar three. Now, uh, he's did you did you read this article? I wrote it, my friend. Oh, good, because I I didn't click on it yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be handy. So, what's the news here with with Cameron? He is simply saying, you know, there's meant to be f- four or five films yeah. in total. He's saying, I think he's starting to realise that the appetite <laughs> for Avatar two isn't quite what he was expecting. Um, <laughs> and he's saying that if it's not as well received as he is hoping. Um, he's going to call it quits and just make it a trilogy. Um, he's not saying he's going to leave it at three, but he's thinking about maybe handing the reins over to someone else for four and five. That that totally sounds like we're going to make three, and if they make money, then we'll make some more. Yeah, yeah, well, it's going to it's going to make it's going to make money. We we know it's going to make money. It's I think it's more to the fact where it's going to be well received. It's. I'm looking forward to it, and I know it does look like a PS5 cutscene, and technology's <laughs> kind of caught up since the first one. I do think he's left it too long, but I think considering the amount of crap that we have at the cinema at the moment, anyway, mate. You know, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to going to see something that's going to be a little bit different, something a little bit more. Um, I said in the articles, it's ambitious, rather than just it, the it, cut and paste formula. The, I think the problem is, like you say, that what we get in the cinema at the moment is just it's an oasis of just crap. And so every now and then oasis of crap, a desert of crap, but every now and then you find this little oasis of something, which is actually quite good, you know, and mm. it's few and far between, um, but it does happen. Um, I mean, one that was just to sort of get onto this um, one that Sean pointed out the other day was that all quiet on the Western front, which I did sit down and watch. Yeah. Fantastic. Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic piece of film. Um, not my cup of tea at all. And if it wasn't for Sean saying that, I would never have bothered. But I was absolutely hooked all the way through. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Okay, enough. it's on my list, mate. I just have such a list, and I'm <laughs> such a busy workload at the moment because obviously we're heading up towards Christmas, and people are panicking to get stuff done. Um, yeah. but I, it's, it is on my list to watch, but it's one of those films I need to watch when the wife's not about because she, it'll just be like, "What is all that noise and carnage, <laughs> and why are you watching this?" <laughs> it it it. It pulls no punches on what War One must have been like. I think Sean said okay. that 1917 was all very clean and nice, whereas this is the complete bit. opposite. You know, it was everybody is caped in blood and mud throughout the nice. whole film, pretty much, you know. Um, but right, coming back to Cameron then. So, again, I, I can't get excited about this. I remember seeing the first one in the cinema and thinking, yeah, this is all right in the 3D mm-hmm. and stuff. But the second one, uh, again, I'll wait till it's on streaming before I get around to watching it. I think it's, again, it, it looks a spectacle. I think it's one of those films that you've got to take the effort to go and watch it at the cinema, mate, rather than just a stream. But, you know, that's me. I, I do agree. He's I'll just sit closer to the telly, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is it is it going to be in 3D, this um, Avatar 2? I don't know. I hope not. I hate 3D. There you go. Uh, Brug, um, Brain Bug has said, nice, I might watch that tonight. Yeah, if you get a chance to see um, All Quiet on the Western Front, absolutely. It is, it's a, It's an incredible piece of work. I may actually put it in my top five of the year because it, oh, nice. it was an incredible piece of work. It was brilliant. Um, so, yeah, it was it very does good. It does look amazing. Um, so, so Avatar, yeah. yes. I think there's a lot of people in the comment section like, I'm not going to go and see it. It's going to be shit and all that. I bet you they do. I don't think they'll be able yeah. to resist. Like I say, I, I'm i not, I don't want to say I'm not a fan of the cinema anymore. I'm just not bothered with the cinema anymore. I'm quite happy to watch oh, stuff sad. at home. I've got my yeah. nice big TV and my nice sofa and I can pause it when I need to pee and stuff. And so I'm 
like I say, I will get around to watching it. I'm just not massively bothered, is all. Like I say, after yeah. the first one, it was just kind of, it'll be interesting to see where he takes the story, but yeah. But yeah, so that's that's Cameron might be giving up on that. That was an excerpt from The Outpost Frequencies brought to you by TheLastMovieOutpost.com. We hold a live stream every Sunday at 12 p.m. on Central Time and 6 p.m. UK time. You're welcome to join us. In the meantime, make sure you visit TheLastMovieOutpost.com for all of your movie news, reviews and everything cool about film. Ugh, so cheesy.